Hi there, I'm Alonzo Pennington. Welcome to the Kentucky Thumb Picking Handbook. Kentucky Thumb Picking dates back to the turn of the century when guitar was just a backup instrument. Players wanted to create a fuller sound, like the piano, where they could play both rhythm and melody. The innovators of this style were Mose Rager, Ike Everly, Kennedy Jones, and of course, Merle Travis, who was the big influence on Chet Atkins and people like Tommy Emanuel. The essence of this style of playing is alternating the bass lines where you're playing the melody and the bass at the same time. So, if you master the techniques that I show you here in the Kentucky Thumb Picking Handbook, you'll be on track to learn hundreds of traditional thumb picking tunes, and you'll be able to hold your own in any jam session. I've organized the course into two sections. The first section, we're going to cover 12 essential techniques and concepts that will help you get your thumb picking together. Everything from alternating bass lines, picking patterns and rolls, and classic turnarounds. In the second section, we'll start building your repertoire with four traditional thumb picking tunes, applying all of the techniques which we covered in the first section. For example, we'll start out with an easy blues in E with an arrangement very similar to Blues Stay Away From Me. Then we're going to work on a tune, the Nine Pound Hammer, which incorporates a Travis picking pattern found in a lot of Merle's songs. Avalon, a very popular jazz standard, will show you how you can apply thumb picking approaches to songs in other styles. And finally, we're going to take on the Cannonball Rag, our most advanced tune, and what the thumb pickers up in Kentucky we call the Thumb Pickers National Anthem. For each tune, I'll first perform it for you, and then I'll break it down section by section. You'll also get key examples in both standard notation and tab. So get your guitar and your thumb pick, and let's get to picking.